MLS is back. So we turn our attentions to this intriguing quarterfinal between the San Jose Earthquakes and Minnesota United. Intriguing, not least because of the seven previous meetings. San Jose won the first four straight and Minnesota have won the last three ever since Matthias Almeida. Michael Boxall, the New Zealander, slip it through. Boxall continuing his gallop and drawing a save, but the keeper, Vega, is injured. And on its way. Out as far as Dotson. And there is Lerd. And Robin Lerd turns away with that broad smile etched across his face. Just as he did against Columbus four nights ago. Yet again, it's Minnesota who score first against San Jose. And it's all about second and third runs here. Again, coming off a set piece where Minnesota United just believes they have a real advantage in this league. Dotson with a great ball to that back post. But Jutsen loses his runner. As this ball's played over his head, watch Jutsen. Ball watches, sleeps for maybe a half a second. Robin Lude finishes the play off. And exactly what you're told to do, headed back across the goal. Adrian Heath and Minnesota United lead 1-0, 20 minutes in. And that will have been noted by the Orlando. Obviously, he's a prime candidate to drop back from midfield to do that. Minnesota are usually wise to it. But in an attacking sense, they profited from a set piece. That is Judson, and it is wow. now Ja'Cory Hayes. It's two goals in 90 seconds, and Hayes scores for the first time ever for Minnesota. But it's a third time in this first half that we've seen the goalkeeper, Vega, give up a rebound. Minnesota came into this one on the front foot with their defensive shape. They've had good reaction after sitting in against Columbus. And it's about winning your individual matchups. Now, Vegas screened by his defender, Alan East, in front of him, but that is the third time in this first half that the goalkeeper has coughed up that first chance. And Ja'Cory Hayes finishes it off. 2-0, Minnesota United. Just the second senior goal of Ja'Cory Hayes' career viewed from our target goalpost camp. A bundle of joy as he wheels away. Kazaishvili. Nice shape on that and a decent set. And now Ozzy Alonso has to deal with a couple decisions as San Jose moves the ball side to side in better spots. You know, so much was talked about San Jose laying an egg. Judson. That's half time. And Matt. Stefano Fizarro had a, a word with Adrian Heath as they wandered back out towards the pitch. And uh, Adrian Taylor says that they're not going to go into their Very much used to that role too. Magnus Eriksson with a 100% record from the spot for the club. Seven of seven up to this point. Make that eight of eight and San Jose are right back in the thick of this. Just go back to the VAR situation. The referee looking at it, asking it for live speed instead of slow-mo. So important that we get access into that decision to provide that transparency of why the decision was made. Yes, this is about Erickson stepping up and giving San Jose some life, but that access just brings so much clarity to a game and into a law, John, that is so... Lerd, neatly played, Amaria. He's not of late looked the danger man of early season, but he has it within him, and he's displayed it now with a consummate left foot finish. And Minnesota have their two-goal lead back. This is the kind of game you get against San Jose. It's a 50-50 ball at midfield. A little flick from Robin Lude. 
and then all of a sudden Ethan Finley can play in Amaria. Now you're 1v1 and you win your battle. That little flick there from Robin Lud. Now look at this. Now you're 35, 40 yards, one on one. Take the defender on, be definitive with your decision, and then finish it off. We have not seen the Amaria that we saw early on in 2020. Was he injured coming into the tournament? Yes, a little bit. But that is the man that has promised 20 plus goals for the Loons in 2020. That is the calling card of a proper goal scorer. His third. Here's Schoenfeld. He could finish it here more or less. And has another chance to do. You'll win two of your last 12. This is Schoenfeld. And still, this he's been too slow to pull the trigger. This ball deflects right here. This has to be touched and hit first time. Keep an eye on the near post flick here. Greg Goosh delivers a great ball in swinging. Good ball here. Cashier with the defensive header. Alonso. Dotson was lining one up. Instead, it's tucked in. It's Marlon Hairston. And it's Minnesota United showing they've got a pretty big bite for an underdog through to the semi-finals. From the opening whistle, it was very apparent that Almeida had his hands full with Minnesota United in their approach. They've set up everything perfectly to expose San Jose. Their spacing's been on point. They've finished off set pieces. They've won their 1v1 battles. Coming off a very pragmatic approach against Columbus. This was the exact opposite. This was proactive and Adrian Heath should be very pleased with the performance tonight. Neil Vega crouching behind the wall. Gregoosh. Oof. The width of a crossbar away from capping this off with a fifth. He's been good on set pieces though, John. What a great signing he's been. Forward for Minnesota United after two very testing seasons. And it looks like another stride in the right direction. They are through to the semi-finals of MLS is back. Adrian Heath gets to face the club that sacked him. And it's the long road back to San Jose for the Earthquakes. It will be Orlando against Minnesota United. Next up, next Thursday, the second semi.